My name is Jessie Taylor, and I am dying of cystic fibrosis. Um, I was diagnosed with CF when I was nine months old, and I was told, or my parents were told, that I wasn't going to live past 18. Well, now I'm 26, but I'm dying. And I've been trying to figure out a way to say this, to people um, because it's hard for me to even wrap my brain around but um, over the past couple of months things have really um, gotten a lot harder and um, I don't think I've got a lot left in me. And that's scary to say, and it's scary to think about, because I have always had big dreams for myself and my life, and all these things I wanted to do and accomplish, and this person I wanted to be, and, um, I think I'm going to be really damn lucky if I make it through all the way through 2019. And, um, sorry, I've got something in my eye and I can't see out of it and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, I told my family I... I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to keep going through tests and procedures and new doctors and hospital stays and blah, blah, blah to find out what's wrong with me because the fact is what's wrong with me is I have CF and I have diabetes and it's killing me. Um, my organs are being greatly affected to the point where I've been in the ER multiple times and I I just want to be made comfortable I don't it's so painful to go through all these tests and procedures and hospital stays and I'm in so much pain constantly and I don't want to be in pain anymore and I'm honestly getting a little tired of fighting this fight because my quality of life is diminishing by the day and um, it makes it hard to have something to live for when your life is crap, I guess. That sounds terrible to say, but um, it's, it's kind of how I feel. And I feel so guilty. I feel like I'm letting people down. I feel kind of like I'm giving up. And I'm really sorry. I'm scared. I don't want to die. But I hurt so much and I don't want to hurt anymore. So my plan is to just be comfortable and let nature take its course over whatever period of time that is. But at the rate things are going, I don't think that's going to be a lot of time. It's so weird to say, and it's so weird to think about, and it's crazy. It's, it blows my mind that 
I'm probably not going to live to be 30. I'm not going to get married. I'm not going to have a kid. I'm not going to have the coolest house all decorated and lit up on Halloween and Christmas, which was like my ultimate goal was to be that person that everybody stops and looks at the house because it's so crazy and cool and I'm not going to get to do that. And... I don't really know what else to say. I'm sorry. For everybody that's been in my life, everybody that's come and gone, I love all of you. Thank you for shaping my life and who I am. Thank you for contributing to my life and my experiences. And thank you for giving me a reason to keep going. Thank you for getting me through the really hard shit. Um, 